Hey, I'm Zealous H Plays. Welcome back to San Bernardino Zoo and welcome to Amazonia. This is the first major part of the zoo that we've completed. Loads of you have asked me to do a tour of it, so that is what we're going to do. So with this being the first tour that we've done, we're going to start at the entrance, make our way inside and then explore the Amazonia area. So here we are at the entrance itself. This is the transport hub where the coaches, which you'll see in a second, take people into the zoo. Uh, we just stood in the middle of the road here. <laughs> I haven't built a um, car park or any pedestrian access yet, but we will get to that. So let's take a look at the outside of the entrance first of all. So this is the big animal wall that I built to house the entrance. I wanted to sort of stretch myself here and build something in a style I'd never done before. It's uh, kind of cheesy, very over the top, quite big budget American Zoo, which is obviously what we're building here. But I'm really pleased with this mural. It is pretty much um, entirely reward statues and some of the statues from the aquatic pack all mixed together few um, peacock statues as well. I've got a nice little fountain here with some capybara in it and an amazing font there from Christina Triple Z. Got a mural here and some uh, banners. I use these throughout the zoo to give a bit of a continuity to the different themes of the different areas and some massive billboards there. I think they make a really striking uh, sort of entrance to the zoo. Yeah, let's head on into the transport hub. These are the coaches that would bring people to the zoo. Some little custom billboards on them. And then the main entrance into the zoo is through these lifts here, or elevators I should say, seeing as we're in uh, California. The elevators are made by Shifty, they're on the workshop. Absolutely amazing build. Love these, they're so detailed. And again, another mural there. And yeah, let's head on into the lift and go up. All right, here we are on the top floor of the entrance. I wanted a really big space here. And a little garden in the middle. And then we've got what is pretty much the only uh, retail stuff in the zoo at the moment. I need to get a lot more of this stuff in here, seeing as we're in franchise mode. But we got uh, gift shops uh, and a couple of small food and drink stands. A lot more signage. And I put some billboards with the, uh, the other zoos in the franchise on here. Well, mainly in the franchise, apart from Pomoja Wildlife Park. That was a collaboration zoo. Uh, yeah, let's check out Iguana Falls. This is a big exhibit for uh, iguana, as the name suggests. We've got the green iguana on the left and the Antillean iguana over here. And I tried to join them together, so it looks like it's one big habitat for them. There's one now. I tried to make it really dynamic in here, lots of water effects going on. I'm trying to sort of mainly cover up the join between the two. See another one over there. And then we got the green iguana around here. There we go. Saying hello. And yeah, I really like this exhibit. I think it's one of my favorite things I've built. It's pretty much entirely built out of the same waterfall that you see in the middle here. Just uh, the other ones are backwards, so I can use a nice concrete texture without getting the water. And then over here, we've got the Overlook, which one day will provide an amazing view of the entire zoo. Uh, not a huge amount to see at the moment. We'll have a quick look at this, just so that we can see the water terraces. We're not gonna explore those today. I figure we are gonna go down here, down the jungle path to Amazonia today. And when we finish the next area of the zoo, then we can go through the water terraces to get to that. And that way you guys get to see everything in the zoo. So this is the jungle path. This takes us down to the Amazonia area. You can just see over there, this is gonna be a monorail station. Not a lot going on over there right now. And it's getting pretty busy in here. I have limited the guests a bit to shoot this, but um, this path gets pretty busy because at the moment there's only two paths into the zoo. 
will be a lot more than that when it's finished so all the guests have basically only got two paths to go down so it gets pretty busy on here I've spent the past week doing so much work on this area to get it finished and ready for this tour all this garden here is new and then over there we've got the staff and vet research center that we built last week it is really hard to walk down this path in explore cam because there's more paths underneath it and frontier have never really sorted out uh, the explore cam working properly when there's one path above another we've got a little fountain here this is the uh, the garden that i've spent a lot of time building getting it to go from up there down to here and looking pretty smooth took quite a lot of work all of this stuff is new really Wanted to get the entire area looking finished. Oh, there's a capuchin there. That is my favourite feature of Amazonia, the uh, the way the capuchins have wires to run across the whole area. So that's where the monorail is going to be. This whole area is unfinished here. And here we have the new signage. Loads of new tropical pack pieces and some of the South American pack pieces as well. Great font by uh, Wyatt Andrews Workshop. I think that makes a nice entrance to this area. And yeah, here's the Amazon River Walk. So we've got the capybara habitat over here. There's one. A little baby in the background. That's one of their shelters. And this whole habitat also has capuchins in it. And they can run from there over to here. And the way all the way over to that shelter up there, which is where they live. They also have access to this side of this habitat along with the capybara. And they spend a lot of time running around here. I love how much climbing the capuchins do now since the conservation pack. And yeah, the capybara look really cute in here. On the other side of the path, I wanted the guests to be surrounded by animals, so you got this habitat on the left, you've got two habitats on the right over here, and then you've got capuchins running along up there. So over here, we've got Cuvier's Dwarf Cayman. Just a couple of them in here. And then down here, we've got the Spectacle Cayman. Big mangrove tree here, that is built by Romana Palacius. And there's the uh, the caiman. And in the background here, we've got the latest addition to this area, the Tropical House. This is one of my favorite builds in the zoo at the moment. Built this to celebrate the Tropical Pack, obviously. And I finally given it an outside, which it didn't have at the time of the episode. So we've got some fountains here. some more signage yeah the concept for this build was that this was a build that's been in the zoo since the 1920s like a classic uh, a tropical house you can see all the um, you know the moss and the decay on the brickwork and the stone really really happy with this and then yeah back to the concept the uh, the zoo have then redesigned the inside of it and made it much more modern now so we've got walkthrough habitats in there so let's go in and check that out so I built this initially for the sloths although there's a lot more animals than that in here now I've got an animal tour point there and I just tried to make it as lush as possible in here huge amounts of all the tropical pack foliage etc uh, there's our first sloth chilling out as they do we've got another walk through habitat in the back as well just to make it look like their habitat's bigger but the guests can't walk through that one oh we got another one up there and then oh you can just see through here we've got galapagos giant tortoise armadillos as well they can run around pretty much everywhere here we've also got butterflies two walkthroughs again one that the guests can actually walk through one that's just there so we get some sort of ambient butterflies running around oh we got some baby armadillos as well i haven't seen these guys yet oh wow they're cute <laughs> oh wow there's loads of them 
very nice. So if we carry on down here, we've got the other butterfly walk through here. And then we've got a viewing point here for the tortoise. And then if we walk through here, this would take us round to the next part of the zoo, uh, which doesn't exist yet. So uh, we won't go that way. And we will walk back this way, go and take a look at the next habitat in the zoo, which is the Jaguar Dome. All right, so we've got the giant otters over there. In fact, let's go and take a look at those first. They've got a few viewing points for this habitat. There's one up here, right at the end of the Amazon River Walk, where you can see them on land. There they are. It's a pretty huge habitat. And then if we go down here, we've got a little peek through. I really like it when zoos have stuff like this, just mainly for kids. Oh, this one's pretty big, so uh, adults can see through it as well. But you get a little view of them there and a little underwater shot as well, which is kind of cute. And then if we go down here, you get the main underwater viewing window, which I made as big as possible. Ah, oh, great timing. <laughs> there we go. Try to make it look as much like an Amazon river in here as possible. So the water's not as clear as you might want it to be. That's on purpose. And then loads of branches and stuff at the bottom. Just for the vibe, really. When we get to the sea lions, which is going to be quite some way off, <laughs> um, the water's going to be crystal clear for those, but I wanted it kind of murky for these. Um, that is pretty much the end of the zoo. In terms of this path here, that'll be another section at some point. So let's go up and see the Jaguar. So quite a lot of terrain changes here. I wanted to avoid a completely flat zoo, um, which all of my zoos so far have been, because <laughs> I don't like doing terrain work, but I figured it was about time I uh, pulled my socks up and did that. It's a nice view of the um, otters from up here as well. But yeah, this is the Jaguar Dome. Got several viewing windows here. That is for their food. I think you just saw one in the background there. We've got uh, an adult and two babies in here at the moment. There he goes. <laughs> Very cute. Lots and lots of climbing for them. Let's go around and check out the other viewpoints, see what we can see. These are strictly temporary. Ignore them. <laughs> I just need to try and keep my franchise guests happy. Uh, I haven't done these uh, this staff area either. There's always a lot of work to do in a <laughs> when you're trying to build a big zoo like this. I've covered up like the almost all of the walls with these plants so that the jaguar get privacy because they are shy in real life as well as in Planet Zoo. Let's see what we can see through this viewing window. Oh, there we go. That's the female. And then round here, there's a um, water viewing gallery as well. Uh, don't think there's any in it at the moment. We've only got three in here, so. But when they do go for a swim, you can see them in there. And then let's check out the final exhibit in Amazonia, which is the Amazonian Giants exhibit. So we've got some tiny little exhibits here for um, the Amazonian giant centipedes. And over here, oh, there we go, the Brazilian wandering spiders. It took so long to design these so that often you will see the animals in them, even though I've only got a tiny bit of the exhibit visible. Designed it to make it look like an actual realistically sized um, terrarium. But yeah, there we go, there's the spiders. No sign of the centipedes today, but um, that's kind of what it's like in a real zoo as well, so that doesn't bother me get a nice view across the whole of the Amazon area here. And yeah, that's Amazonia. 
I'm very pleased with this first completed uh, major area in the zoo. Really hope you guys enjoyed that. Next week, we're going to be starting a whole new area in the zoo. I'll tell you a bit more about that in a community post. I am very excited about it. That'll be out next Saturday. I'll see you then. Thanks for watching as always. Bye. <laughs>